Hi friends, welcome to Science Jagat. Today we are going to discuss about zinc finger nucleases. What is zinc finger nucleus? Process of gene editing by ZFN and applications. So what is zinc finger nucleus? It is an artificial endonuclease and it is discovered in the African clawed toad that is Xenopus levis in 1985. It is made to address the issue of gene editing technique that recognize the site they wanted to edit as non-target effect or non-target uh, gene editing could lead to deleterious effects. Okay, so ZFN are composed of two parts that is an engineered nucleus uh, FOK. It is a cleaving domain and another one is zinc finger protein. It is a DNA binding domain. So you can see here this is the zinc finger protein binding to the DNA and this is FOK which is helping in the cleavage of that DNA. Okay. So it stimulates cell natural DNA repair mechanism by two processes HR and NHEJ. I have already made a video of gene editing in which I have discussed what is HR and NHEJ. So you can go and check it there. And this, uh, uh, this could lead to targeted gene deletion or insertion effectively leading to gene knockout or gene modification. As you can see here, HR can lead to gene modification and non-homologous end joining can lead to gene knockout. Okay, so this approach has now been used to establish facile efficient reverse genetics in Drosophila, Melanogaster, Zebrafish, Rats, Arabidopsis, Theranea and Mammarin somatic cell as, cell as well. So it facilitates targeted editing of the genome by creating double stranded break in the DNA at specific location and it is very important for site specific mutagenesis. So let's see how ZFN induced uh, DSB can affect uh, NHEJ or HDR or we can say how both these mechanism can show different uh, can show different uh, no, results uh, by using ZFN. Okay, so let's see. First of all, we'll focus on NHEJ that is non-homologous end joining. Okay, so when ZFN induces double stranded break, it can direct imperfect ligation of two ends, which will lead to gene disruption, that is a small deletion or insertion. Second one is provide adapter with sticky ends, and this will lead to tag ligation. The third one, it can lead to simultaneous cleavage with a second distal ZFN. Another ZFN uh, moiety can also uh, bind to the DNA region because it only recognizes uh, three base pairs at a time. A single protein or domain of ZFN recognizes only three base pairs. So there are chances that it can bind to another uh, area of that DNA molecule also and it would lead to a large deletion or a deletion of more than 100 base pairs. Okay, now let's see uh, what would happen in HDR that is homologous recombination. When ZFN induced DNA uh, stranded, double stranded break in DNA, it will provide donor with small changes that is gene correction. Second one, it can provide donor with single transgene that can could be called as targeted gene addition. And it can provide the donor with multiple transgenes that is called as transgene stacking. Okay, now let's move forward. Now, what is the exact process of zinc uh, finger nucleases and how it works? So, first of all, we deliver ZFNs into the cell with the help of two techniques that is transfection or electroporation. Then dimerization of the ZFN protein is mediated by FOK cleavage domain. Each ZFN is typically composed of three or four zinc finger domain. Each domain is made up of typically three to four zinc finger domains. See, you can see here there are four domains shown in the figure. Okay. And each domain is made up of around 30 uh, amino acid residues that are organized in beta beta alpha motif. So each of them is made up of around approximately 30 amino acid residues in and beta beta mot uh, alpha motif uh, com uh, composition. Okay. So the residues that facilitate DNA recognition are located within the alpha helix. 
in the beta beta motif alpha motif uh, composition the alpha helical domain help in the localization of dna recognition okay and typically interact with the three base pairs of dna you can see here each domain helps in recognition of three base pairs okay with occasional overlap from an adjacent domain okay so let's move forward zf and dimers induce targeted and double stranded break to stimulate the dna damage response pathways this dimer cuts dna within a 5 to 7 base pair spacer sequence this is 5 to 7 base pair spacer sequence that separates two flanking zinc binding sites okay now the binding specificity of the designed zinc finger domain directs the zfn to a particular genomic site cloning of zfn genome edited cells and screening of positive clones by rt pcr and sequencing analysis would be done now now let's uh, let's see it in a diagrammatic form so first of all what we are doing delivery of zdf pair zfn pair into cell this is the first day of the experiment so we are transferring it into the cell and in the cell it is transferred in the nucleus so zfn pair delivery into cell by transfection or electroporation so all this process of double stranded break is done inside the nucleus only okay now second process is zfn pairs recognize an heterodimer around the target site you can see here it is heterodimer around the dna target site okay now the second process is zfn mediates occur now the double stranded break would occur with the help of this uh, zfn and then the zfn pair make double stranded break with the with the dissociation from dna and then followed by the dissociation of zfn from the dna now it could lead to no repair template co transferred zfn pair 1 to 20% of cells are misrepaired resulting in gene deletion there could be some gene deletion or uh, non specific uh, uh, non targeted or non specific uh, uh, insertion of dna or uh, cut of large base pairs as i have shown you earlier or it could lead to repair template co transferred zfn pair by 1 to 20% of cell containing gene integration so both the cases can be possible now what we will do we will go for screening of uh, the uh, correct gene edited cells okay so what we'll do dilution of colonies and screening of individual clones this whole whole process can lead to 4 to 7 weeks now here we are doing screening and it is expected that 1 to 20% clones have desired mutation uh, and the expected timeline for this whole process is 5 to 8 weeks okay so here are some applications of zfn what are the applications repair mutation insertion of gene or dna fragment at specific site repair or replace aberrant gene disabling an allele allele editing application in medical sector which can lead to gene therapy and treatment of hiv but there is a limitation also we know as it is cleaving at site specific manner but as i show you it can make a large specific a large uh, deletion of base pair base pairs more than 100 base pairs and it can lead to small gene deletion and insertion when uh, n uh, h e j uh, mechanism was working so it has ex extremely high ratio of um, of target mutation and cleavage so the technology is prone to errors since each zinc finger repeat can only recognize three base pairs as a result mutation may occur at non specific site that exhibit similarity with the target sequence it may cause immunogenicity okay so that if you like the video please like and share it and subscribe our channel for the notification of another videos as i'm going to upload crispr and talents video also so thank you so much for watching